Hello students, um, I am going to show you how to use the look for command and the tabulate command in Stata. And so just a reminder, we're examining conflict with uh, and how it influences health access and our outcome indicators for health access are immunizations and um, we're going to look at facility delivery of a child as well. And then we have our conflict derived from the Heidelberg Institute in Germany. So to start, I'm going to navigate to our shared folder. This is going to um, be a little bit different path than you use on the research lab computers. And uh, looks like I aren't connected. And so don't worry about this part yet. But once you get into this folder, so we're looking at the shared Larson research projects. Now if we open up this conflict folder right here, right, we have a country a, a Google document sheet called Conflict Surveys Included. Now you need to work with Lauren Barill to make sure that you have access access to this um, to this sheet. But what this shows is on the in the column A are the countries and then the different um, surveys. And so we have Afghanistan had a demographic and health survey in column D a DHS done in 2015. And if we look over here, H-I-J-K-L-M-N, these are our um, outcomes. And so we have BCG, polio, measles, and DPT vaccines. Um, BCG is tuberculosis vaccine. It doesn't prevent tuberculosis, but prevents um, <clears throat> some complications in infancy from tuberculosis. And then polio, measles, diphtheria, pertussis, and uh, tetanus, I believe. And these are the six vaccines included in the in the standard um, global uh, vaccine initiative, um, the EPI expanded program on vaccines. I'm going to delete this column because we don't really need it. Right. So here you have a number of countries, and they have a yes or a Y marked here. I'm just going to sort by country here. Um, And so what we need to know is we're going to look at these Al these other countries here that don't have this and make sure that they have or do not have the things we're looking for. So let's start with Algeria 2012 to 2013 mix, the multiple indicator cluster survey. So I'm going to navigate back to my folder. Um, I'm going to open up a new window just so you can see a little bit better. So I'm going to go back to our shared drive shared research projects. So another of the folders in this shared research projects is the, is this folder survey data sets. Now this survey data sets folder we don't ever we're not going to ever change it. Um, we'll change it later perhaps but right now we're not going to worry about changing things here. So from our um, it's gonna, it's gonna toggle back to this screen. Sorry if you get a little bit dizzy. From this screen we're, we have Algeria right and so we have Algeria here we have this 2012-13 mix folder so this is the year that did the survey now in these in these surveys they have three separate files there's a child file a mother's file and a household file and the way it works is they collect information on the house and that they include that in the household file then they ask the, the women um, of reproductive age ages 15 to 49 and they collect information on the women but then also on their children we're going to work for the immunizations we're more concerned about the children so we're gonna work on the child file now this is a this file is a dot DTA I'll close this real quick is a dot DTA that's a state of file so if I double click this and I have stata installed on my computer it will open it in stata so I'm just gonna double click it excuse me if it's gonna go we'll see oh here it is so I double clicked it and opened it in Stata now this is my Stata screen make it a little bit bigger here so Stata can be divided into four windows this window here the biggest one is our output on the left is a history of the commands that we've used in the middle is our command prompt that's where we can type our code and on the right we have our variables and then some different things, um, properties around the variables. 
Okay, and then your, depending on which computer you're on, it might be a little bit different. The, these windows can move. You can actually, if I can grab it, maybe I, I can't. I guess I can change it. Um, so they might be different, but those are the those are the things. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I, I just want to show you what the data is. Before I start this, I'm going to open up Stata without data inside. So if I just click on the Stata and open it, now you see how the variable window is empty and there's no commands here. So I can say, um, I can open this here, I double click that and now this is this command. right? If I click that command, that's the use, and then it navigates to the um, to the data set that I want, and then that if I push enter, it reloads the data. Okay, so I'm going to first type the command browse. Now browse is going to show you, us the data, the flat file, and and Stata works on with flat files. And what what we mean by flat files is like an Excel spreadsheet. So you can see you have columns and rows. Each row is a child. So this is child, and then each ver each column is our variable here, right? And so if we go through, there's all these data. Some of the data are missing. There's nothing here. And then there's dots, and that's a missing value. And we go through. This is all the data we have. Um, and there's a lot of children. How many children? 15,140 children in this data set. That's from the browse command. We're going to close this because that's not very helpful. But now we're going to look for measles. So we're going to type look for all one word measles and nothing comes back. Now we're going to type look for um, polio. And here we have a number of variables that polio is included. We have jour de polio. And you'll notice that in Algeria, or at least this mixed survey from Algeria, is all coded in French which makes things a little bit complicated for us. Fortunately, polio is the same word in French as it is English, the same spelling. Um, so this is jour de polio. It's uh, the day of the polio for 18 months. Um, this is month polio at 18 months, the year of polio. And so if we, these are, and these are the variable labels. So what it found, what it did, Stata did, is it looked for polio and then it found all the variables that gave us polio, um, that has polio in the label, and then it brings them back. And so this first variable name, IM3P4D, that doesn't really mean anything to me, except the variable labels it tells me that the day of the polio vaccine. And then IM3P4M is the month of the polio vaccine. So let's take a look closer at this month of polio vaccine. So I'm going to say tab IM3P4 m you'll notice i use capital letters because these are in capital letters what i'm saying is give me tabulate this variable for me tell me what's happening with it and the the way stata works is first you say the command and then the object so i push enter All right and you notice here that we have the 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 variable the tab im3p4m that's what we typed in then here's the output that came back and so the month of polio and it goes 1 through 12 so did they get their polio vaccine in January or up to December? The frequency is the number of children, then you have the percentage of children, and then the cumulative percentage here, and then the total. Now you may, you may remember we have 15,000 kids, but here it's showing only 6,448 that it looks like they have their polio vaccine, um, or have a month that they reported they got it. What I'm more looking at now with the look for command, I'll look for it again, look for polio. What I'm more interested in is this IM8. And it says, l'enfant a déjà, déjà res. Yeah. Stata doesn't like um, non, non English characters. So this is, has the child already received the vaccine for polio? So we can tab that, IM8. And we tab IM8, and we see 99% of the children report that yeah they've received the vaccine for polio but that is only out of 1390 so that's something perhaps something odd we'll have to go back to the survey and see who are they asking about this polio vaccine are they only asking the infants or are they asking the kids that are five I don't know then the other one I'm interested in perhaps is the, the first dose of polio again 
or polio vaccine was that given in the last two weeks? That's kind of weird. I wonder if that's if I understand the translation right. In the first two weeks. And so did they get a polio vaccine within the first two weeks of birth, I think, is what this is asking. And 94% of the children did. And then if we tab the IM10 is the number of times the vaccine was given. And that is, um, that's basically polio. Polio is a bit hard because it, your body doesn't take up the vaccine very well. You don't get um, immunity very easily to polio. And so you have numerous times you get the vaccine, usually four. Um, and so if we tab that, then we have, you know, all these children that got it one, two, three, four, five times. This person says they got it 19 times, which is probably probably enough. Um, usually four is the is the hoped for number. And then some of these kids, two, 12 children that never got it, or 200 children that didn't specify, perhaps. So now, this I know this data set has polio. So I'm going to toggle back to here. Algeria polio, it has. I'm not certain yet if it has measles. And I'm going to Google Translate measles in French. And it's rogiole. Right, so if you're familiar with roseola, perhaps roseola. So I'm going to look for this term, roseola. And look at this. We have um, the day of vaccination of roseola, the month, the year, has the child received the, ro the, the vaccine for roseola. And we can tab IM16. And they're 82%, a few, a few less than polio. So I'm going to toggle back and give our measles yes. Next I'm going to look for DPT. There's nothing there. And I'm going to change it and say look for DTP. And nothing there. Um, I'm going to look for this term vaccination. Okay. And so here does a child have a card for vaccines? Um, if the child ever received a card and they have BCG, it looks like. There's VP0, excuse me, VPO, and I wonder what that is. HBV is, uh, is the, I believe, the Hib. DT Cook. I wonder if that's DPT, DT Cook. Um, Rogio, we know. Um, HBV3, VPO3. And th this is making me wonder because there's usually three doses of DPT. So HPV DT Cook, yeah. Um, so let's tab. We're gonna tab IM three H zero D. And we we do have information on that. And I'm gonna say um, DPT vaccine in French. I'll put in pertussis in French. And that's coqueluche. And pertussis is the P in English. And so I'm thinking, if I do my vaccination, look for vaccination, I'm thinking that this coq, DT coq, is the DTP. Regardless, I think we have it. We will double check this in the survey methodology. We have that. And then the BCG was there as well. So that's Algeria. And we have, and that's all we need to do. We know we have Algeria. What this tells us then is we know we need to code the data to get it in the right format. All right, so Algeria we know. Next, let's take a look at Argentina. Okay, so I'm just going to say clear. And that wipes out the data. If I browse after saying clear, then there's nothing in my data set. So now I'm going to navigate back to the survey data set folder and go to Argentina, the country Argentina and open that and look at the child file All right here we have everything in Spanish so before everything was in um, French for Algeria 
And if we just look for vax, we don't have anything. If we look for measles, we don't have anything. If we look for DTP, BCG, there's nothing. And I make sure I'm gonna in the I'm am in the child file. Then I'm just gonna come here to the Google Translator and say measles in Spanish. And it's sarampion. So I'm gonna look for sarump. And there's nothing. I'm gonna say polio in Spanish. And it's just polio. And there's nothing. So uh, this tells me that there's nothing. And then, f just for just to double check, I'm gonna look for vac vaccination in Spanish, and it's vacunación. And there's nothing. So for here, I'm seeing that there's nothing here in Argentina on on these four vaccines. And that's fine. That just makes our our work less, and and it might be because they're not worried about vaccine coverage in Argentina, um, and so they're not going to collect it, or maybe they get that data somewhere else. So let's go to Bangladesh, 2012 to 2013, and I believe this one will be in English, which would be nice. And it's in English, and you can see over here if you look at the variables and the labels, it's all in English. So I'm just going to now say look for polio, look for measles, look for BCG, look for DPT, look for DTP, look for vaccines, and there's nothing. Um, there's no information on vaccines here. And so that's done. Now here we get to Barbados, and you notice that there's no exposure here. And so um, I'm just going to put dashes here because it doesn't matter if they have it or not. We don't have the exposure, so we don't need to code it. Then let's go to Belarus in 2012. And this might be in English. Hopefully it's not in like Russian or something. Yep, it's all in English, and say look for measles, look for polio, look for BCG, look for vaccination, look for DTP, and so they don't have it, all right? So Belarus is okay, and then I can come to Benin. I just want to do one more that has it. I bet Benin will. I hope it will. Benin child file not and we don't want the DHS is Benin a DHS oh it's a DHS yeah the DHS has it should so I open up the child file and I say look for measles we have received measles H9 right and so you say 37.9 percent did not receive measles um, it's a lot we say look for polio and receive polio 1. If we tab H4, 20% of the kids did not receive the first dose. If you look at polio 3, polio 3 is H8. And it's 51% of the kids did not get their polio 3. And if we look for DTP or DPT, and we say D DPT 1, 27% did not get their DPT 1. And, and then DPT 3, 40% did not. Um, from a statistical perspective, this is good. Um, this gives us variance in our outcome so that we can then examine the relationship between vaccination coverage and our exposure of conflict. But from a health perspective, of course, we it's kind of frustrating that they're not getting the vaccines. All right, so we, so we BCG it's there, H2, and only 40% did not get the BCG. So I'm going to toggle back and put down in Benin that yes, we have all our vaccinations. So that is um, what we need to do. And this Google Sheet is what you need to fill out. So hopefully this video, this tutorial is helpful for you. 
you can start getting the tab command. It's a it's a very nice command. It's short for tabulate. Um, and start understanding, getting a feel for Stata. As as you finish this and you want to get more skills with Stata, I'd suggest going on YouTube and just looking at Stata tutorials. If you, so if you just Google Stata tutorial and go to videos, you know there's hundreds of Stata tutorials on YouTube. And you're welcome to go through and listen, and watch them. You know we have those dual monitors, so you can watch them. So good, good, good luck uh, finishing this up real quick. Um, it's done due by Thursday, and we'll talk to you. Uh, I think I'm meeting with everybody Tuesday and Wednesday. So best of luck, and we'll talk to you later.